Joining us now is Republican Congressman from South Dakota, Dusty Johnson. As chair of the Main Street Caucus, he's involved in his party's negotiations. Congressman, thank you very much for being here. I know things are a bit nutty over there. Let me ask you about what you told the South Dakota paper just on Tuesday. You said, quote, I'm optimistic that we're si still going to have enough mature, responsible members of Congress that we're going to be able to avoid this shutdown. Do you still feel that way on Friday? Well, maybe I'm a little less optimistic than I was, but I try to be a happy warrior. And we still have some time, and I think every responsible member of the House should be willing to run through that tape. Let's not give up. Shutdowns are stupid. They cost us all a tremendous amount of money. We have got to try to get our work done. There are some members of your conference who seem unwilling to pass mm -hmm. any deal to stop this shutdown, unwilling for personal reasons or unwilling for principled reasons that they just think that their demands on the budget are never going to get met unless they do something drastic. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a smart idea or not a smart idea, but that's what they're doing. If you think a shutdown is such a bad idea and so bad for everyone, why not come up with a short-term spending bill that Democrats can get on board with as well or just pass whatever the Senate hands down to you? If we could get uh, some sort of a CR that cuts spending and secures the border, I'd work with anybody to get that done. And I think you see that approach building a little steam in the Senate. The Senate has generally been pretty reticent to take up border security until the last week. And now all of a sudden, I think they understand what an important issue this is for the House. And so I, that, that's one of the big tragedies, I think, of, of my plan that, as you alluded to, went down on the House floor today. Uh, the stopgap funding measure that I authored would have kept government open, cut spending, and secured the border. I'm still a little frustrated that 21 Republicans sided with the Democrats to defeat my measure. I think the border is an interesting thing to bring into this fight, and I do think it's something that is um, bubbling up more uh, in, in Democratic cities, obviously here in New York being one of those cities. I, I wonder if attaching it to this bill, though, is the best route, if not maybe separating it and forcing there to be debate on it, there to be a compromise on that, on, on the border. Everybody wants to see comprehensive immigration reform. Why not use this opportunity to build something big instead of trying to jam it into a budget bill? Well, I don't think we're trying to jam it into anything. I mean, let's be clear, the Republicans in the House have been negotiating, uh, not negotiating, uh, debating for nine months border security provisions. We've had them on the House floor. They've been through the committee. Regular order has been followed. Democrats have had an opportunity to vote for some, against others. Uh, but what you're really talking about is trust. OK, well, let's do a, a continuing resolution and then we can sort of hope that we get a border win in a month or two or three. The reality is uh, Joe Biden failed on the border last month and the month before that and the month before that. Uh, honestly, Republican patience with this crisis at the border as at an absolute end, as you mentioned, an increasing number of Democrat governors and mayors are also publicly critical of the president. Let's get it done now. I, I got a lot of questions on the border, but I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to move on to, to Speaker Kevin sure. McCarthy. What does he do? Mm -hmm. Does he survive this? Do the Democrats come to save him? If the Democrats table a motion to vacate, or if the Democrats don't participate in a vote for a motion to vacate, and I'm going to ask um, a Congressman Clyburn about this in just a moment, do Republicans still see him as an effective leader, or do they revolt? Oh, I think the narrative uh, surrounding Kevin McCarthy's uh, frail uh, hold on leadership has really been overdone. The reality is he is still absolutely the right guy to run the House. Uh, that's why you have not seen a motion to vacate in nine months. Uh, I talk with the media approximately 100 times more about a motion to vacate than I've ever talked to members of the House. And it may be the two or three people are going to chirp out about it, but the reality is the Democrats are not going to need to bail out Kevin McCarthy. Uh, he has moved forward an appropriations process. He's put forward a, a continuing resolution that would have cut spending, secured the border, and kept government open. Uh, I think there is a lot for conservatives to like about his leadership.